heard is that it was something about the National Hackers Day. Outside of that, I don't really know much too, too much about it. What Brandon calls National Hackers Day is really a national protest that might have you seeing the web a little differently. Today, uh, I am joining the uh, uh, protest uh, blacking out my websites. That's right. Total blackouts on some sites, black banners on others like Google. They're opposing SOPA and PIPA, two proposed laws making their way through the U.S. legislature. They're aimed at cracking down on Internet piracy. Right now, the U.S. Congress is considering legislation that could cripple this site. But some feel the laws are too vague. So in a protest against them today, thousands of websites went black. I personally feel we need to find a better balance and better legislation to protect copyright holders. Some say they can see why the piracy problem needs tougher laws. It takes away from companies that are producing the real software and information. Unless, he says, it compromises the public's access. They should go after the company and not the public. Then, some like Brandon don't think much of it yet. I'm really indifferent either way on, it, on, the, on the topic. I'll probably do some research later on. But it turns out he's got some alternatives. Brandon might not be able to see anything off of his laptop, but what I found is that on your iPhone or even your tablet, you're in the clear. And alternatives are what these web surfers hope the U.S. Senate will consider as it gets ready to vote on the bills later this week. In Tampa, I'm Xavier Ramos.